right. Hello, yogi friends. Thanks so much for joining me on the mat. Today we're going to have some fun and you're going to think of me tomorrow morning when you feel your butt when you walk out of bed. So let's go. We're going to have a good warm up. So here we go. Inhale. Arms coming up. Look up. Really, really look up. Feel your feet. Lift your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Press the toes back into the floor. Keep looking up, inhale, reach up, exhale, micro bend your left knee, and we're gonna wake up the body by hovering the right. Woo! And if your toes on the right foot kind of come down, that's okay. Lots of wobbling because we're looking up. If you're wobbling too much, look uh, forward. So press the right foot, bend the right knee, lift, lift and wobble, wobble, wobble. Left foot lifted and then oh, exhale. Inhale, reach up again, bend your elbows, thumbs behind your heart, pull your belly in. Inhale, reach up. Now slowly, warming up, stick your butt back. Keep your arms and hands close in as you come into your chest. Ah, with your hands and first forward bend of the day if you're practicing in the morning inhale or even if you're practicing in the evening might be your first forward bend so inhale open up your chest feel the tissues exhale chest and thighs together flip the palms of your hands and be a raggedy doll Woo. inhaling <sighs> exhaling really feeling now this first forward bend, where, where are the tensions and the tissues that want some more love? Inhale, halfway lift, push your butt back, pull your belly in, pull your forearms towards each other, lift those toes. Now this time, exhale, elbows out to the side. Keep lifting your toes. Now look at them and press them into the floor. Ah, oh. inhale. Open up your chest again, halfway lift, eyes trying to come forward, exhale, elbows out to the side, press those toes this time into the floor, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on either side of your feet, inhale, just a little lift, press through the right foot, bring the left leg up parallel to the floor, you can be on your fingertips here, now bend that front knee, right knee, tuck the tail so pull the belly button into the backbone and lower the whole body so you can anticipate the left toes coming onto the floor press through the palms of your hands curl your back a lot dig your right heel in move into first down dog ears near your arms mm. so whenever we're going into down dog or child's pose today you to really use your breath the cooling part of your breath the exhale to really release to recover so looking at your left thumb bring your left knee into your chest curl a lot come forward land your left foot take your time use your fingertips forward inhale open up your chest exhale right leg comes parallel squish your inner thighs mm -hmm. and then curl your back a lot pull your belly in bring your right foot to hover and then land hip width apart between your <laughs> yes on the mat grab your toes yogi grip inhale open up your chest exhale elbows out to the side chest and thighs together inhale <clears throat> halfway lift exhale plant your hands inhale a little lift now this time press through that right foot left leg comes parallel bring your fingertips right underneath your shoulders so you feel the length from the back left heel <laughs> to the top of your head now bend your right knee tuck the right tail under anticipate the whole body is coming down as one unit anticipate the floor then with your left toes and then bring your hands on either side of that right foot your front foot 
Curl the right tail back. Roll the left hip forward. Curl your back a lot. Then move into down dog again. And then come down onto your knees. <clears throat> exactly the same time. And sit back onto your shins and just feel a little bit of warmth. So when we have a chance to relax our wrists, we should. So just have them palms of your hands to the ceiling, wrists relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Just feel the heat in your body building up. Bring your hands onto the floor, all fours, on all fours. Just check out your knees, make sure that you can see your big toes between your knees, tuck your toes, inhale, open up your chest, pull your hands towards the back of your mat, exhale, press down and forward. Now cup your hands first, and then move into a really bent knee down dog. Ears near your arms, inhale, exhale, press the heels away if that's in your practice. Hmm. Bring your right knee into your chest, curl your back a lot, land your right foot, reach with your hands forward, fingertips, your hands can be wide here, just take your time, drop your left hip and your right hip. Now press through that right foot, tuck the right tail, left leg comes parallel to the floor, squish your inner thighs on the left side, curl your back a lot, pull the belly in, pull the belly in, you're bringing left foot to hover beside right, inhale into this, exhale, drop your left foot, raggedy doll. Mm. Feeling the heat, feeling your whole body lengthen. <laughs> Lean back into your heels, lift your toes. Inhale, bring your hands onto the top of your femurs. So that right where your, your um, femur leg bones go into your hip socket, you'll feel when you push them back, that the sacrum will spread out now. Inhale, exhale, feel. Mm. Then inhale, come all the way up to the room. Inhale, arms coming up, look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Now we're going into salutations. Exhale, step back. Inhale, high plank. Now drop your pelvis and look back and see if you have a straight line. You should feel your muscles of your legs really working here. Pressing through the fingertips, pull the forearms towards each other, pull your belly in, inhale, come forward, exhale, tuck tail, allow the knees to come down at exactly the same time. Retuck your toes, look forward, inhale, come forward like your chest is moving in front of your shoulders. Now press down and forward as you come down into modified chaturanga, inhale, Open up your chest, little cobra with a little swish. Just feels so good when we do this. Just wakes up our side body. Now looking forward, bend your knees, soles of your feet to the ceiling, and exhale into active child's pose, toes tucked. Press those wrist bones forward. <sighs> Ears near your arms. And then feel the warmth. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, curl forward, angry cat. Exhale, undo your angry cat into a cow back and lift your legs into up dog. Breathe. Maybe you even want to walk your feet today forward so that your chest is coming forward. Your throat's nice and open. Pull belly in. Cup your hands so you can take some of the weight off of your wrists as you move into down dog. <sighs> Bring your feet a little closer and together. Inhale, exhale, push them back, push those heels back. Press through the left foot, through your hands, cupping the center of your hand, and then inhale, right leg goes up as high as you can. Exhale, curl your back and bring your right knee into your chest. Land your right foot where your right thumb is. 
Drop your hips. Have a long, low body here. You can have your hands out so they're a little wider. Just feel what happens when you pull your feet towards each other. Inhale, it just goes right up into your chest. Exhale, press through the right foot. Tuck the right tail under. Left leg comes parallel to the floor. Squish your inner thighs. <laughs> Micro bend your right knee. Spread your left toes. Curl your back a lot. Pull your forearms towards each other. Look at your right foot and start slowly, slowly pulling everything in. Left leg coming to hover. Hip width apart beside the right foot. Land the left foot. Grab your toes in yogi grip. Inhale. Exhale, elbows out to the side. Ah, forward bending, your version of a forward bend, whatever that means. Inhale, lift your toes, bring your hands onto your femurs, tops of. Exhale, mm, breathe. Inhale, come all the way up. Nice. Get ready for the next one. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into plank, cup your hands, inhale, plank, exhale, tuck tail, knees on floor. Modified chaturanga coming, inhale, move forward first, squish your armpits, press down and forward to modified, and then little cobra with a swish. This should feel good or different. Bend your knees, eyes and heart forward, active child's pose, toes tucked. Wrists coming forward, fingers active, toes active. Breathe into this. This is a rest pose in a way. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, curl forward, angry cat. Exhale, unfurl your spine as you move your body into a cow position, but you're an up dog. Breathe, and from the belly, pull your hips back into down dog. Be feeling nice and toasty, warm. <sighs> Breathing. Bring your left knee into your chest. Curl your back a lot. Spread your left toes. Try to go slow as you bring your left foot. I didn't go slow, I went fast. Left foot beside your left thumb. Reach forward and wide with your fingers. Drop your pelvis and press that back heel away. Feel the length through the whole right side of your body. Now pull belly in. See if you can't tuck the left tail as you move into a 90 degree leg situation. Right leg is parallel to the floor. Roll your right inner thighs towards each other. Spread your right toes. Push the right heel back and away from the top of your head. Curl your back a lot now as we Curl and bring right foot to hover. Go slower than you want. Pull belly in. Spread your right toes. And land the right foot. Ah, oh, raggedy doll. Whoo! Breathing. Lean back into your heels. Lift your toes. Inhale. Hands coming on the femurs. Oh, exhale. Feel. Inhale, come all the way up. And this time, drop your toes, close your eyes. Mm. Feel the heat. Feel from your pelvis, your pelvic floor, all the way to the base of your throat, your breath moving. And the exhale is always the cooling part of the breath. And the inhale is always the encouraging part of the breath. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, this time swan dive down. So separate your hands, take, take your time as you pull belly in, butt back, knees generously bent. And then hands on the floor, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you're in a forward bend, interlock your fingers to the webbing behind your back and let your shoulders and your arms open up and let them fall towards the front of your room. And while we're here, I'd like you to exchange which thumb is on top. I know, feels weird. Inhale, 
halfway lift with the arms still coming up to the ceiling or towards the front of your room. And then exhale, go deeper into your pose. Breathe, feel all those wonderful tissues. Release your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, curl your back. Bring your hands forward again, but we're going to press through that right foot. Left leg is going to come up. And then we're going to look forward, micro bend your right knee, tuck the right tail under, angle out the left foot as you reach. We're going into warrior one legs, your big toe, the other toes, the left foot entirely, and then pop up to warrior one. Do what you'd like to do with your arms, front knee over ankle. You should just, when you glance down, should just be able to see the tips of your toes. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, soften the back of your heart. Let your eyes and your heart be facing the same direction or they're in the same plane, yeah. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, warrior two feet. You may wanna spread them out or come a little bit closer. Take your hands on your hips this time. Really feel your shoulders are over your hips. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, front knee over ankle. Mm. Breathing. And then arms coming out. Warrior one arms. Breathe. So pull everything towards each other on an inhale. And on an exhale, go deeper. Yeah. Left hand coming back. Flip the right palm. Look at your right hand, then inhale. So you feel the whole right side of your body fill up with air. Lean back and exalted, warrior two. Exhale, take the back of your head with the palm of your hand. Elbows close in, right elbow close in. Now breathe. Always feel this is like <laughs> good value for your yoga money because you will always feel this pose. Inhale, pull your feet towards each other, both knees bent, butt back. We're moving, tilting like a windmill towards your right leg. Use your block. We're going into triangle. So whatever works for you. Inhale, left arm bone goes up. Exhale, triangle. Really feel this triangle. Feel where you need it. Breathing. If it's too hard to hold your left arm up, then just have your left hand on your left hip. Keep your throat nice and open. Keep your head in line with your spine. Pull your belly in so it can support you. Nice. Exhale, bend that front knee, left hand on your left hip. You can kind of inchworm your left foot back, uh, forward, so it's a little bit closer. And then right hand can go on the outside or on the inside. You're going to open up your chest, side angle, pose, left arm, drop your left hip, left rib cage over the right. Bend your left elbow, shoot the arm bone up and overhead. If that's in your practice, breathe, press that back heel away. And then look down. Lift the back heel, all 10 toes coming in the same direction. Circle your left hand down. Walk your feet away from each other so they are hip width apart. You can be on your fingertips here. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, straighten-ish your legs. Dig your right heel in, spread your right toes. Inhale, walk into that front knee again. This time, drop your back knee. Whew. Release the back foot, shoelace side of the foot on the floor. Come on up. Oh, whoa. Interlock your fingers to the webbing. Bring the hands onto your thigh bone. Inhale into your chest. Back foot is relaxed. You're trying to have a good time here. I know it's, it's intense. Exhale. Come on down. Monkey pose. Dig your right heel in. Back toes are tucked. And then hands are quite wide <clears throat> as you fold, elbows bent to the side, fold over your right leg, 
spread your right toes, feel your left toes, feel your fingers, walk into your right foot again, oh. plant your hands, lift the back knee, keep your pelvis down close so that you can feel this long action along the left side of your body. Curl your back a lot. Move into down dog. Ah, breathing. Good work. We're going to step all the way to the top of the mat. Curl your back a lot. Inhale, halfway lift. Grab your toes. Exhale, elbows out to the side. Lean back. Spread your toes. Inhale, Halfway lift, but now hands on femurs. Mm. Exhale, feel, and then inhale, come all the way up. Woo. Close your eyes and feel. Micro bend your knees, stick your butt back a little bit. <sighs> mm. Inhale, arms coming up, eyes open, look up. Exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lift. Now bring your hands out a little bit. You're on your fingertips or your blocks. Press through the left foot, micro bend the left knee and tuck the left tailbone under. So even if it's just, it doesn't actually happen, but you are thinking about it, eventually it will happen. Right leg lifts, inhale, angle out the right foot. Keep trying to tuck the left buttock underneath the left hip as you slowly, slowly bring your body down and then your right toe comes down. Your feet are in warrior one position. Now continue to tuck. Bring your hands a little closer. Can tuck the left hip, left buttock. Inhale, come on up into warrior one. Feel, whew. Exhale, back of your heart softens. You go deeper into the pose. Good work, breathing. Inhale, come on up. Pivot your feet, check them out. Warrior two legs. Whew. Inhale, arms coming up or hands on your hips. It's kind of fun to change your entry into these traditional poses, especially if you've done them thousands of times. You can always change it. Now front knee over ankle. Warrior two, open up your chest. Look at left middle finger, breathe. Ah, feel the back foot, feel the front foot. Inhale into your chest, exhale, bring your right hand, we're going into exalted, right hand behind. It's just landing and helping with balance. Don't put too much weight in the right hand. Don't put any if you can manage it. And then inhale, left arm bone comes up, leaning back. Exhale, take the back of your head, the palm of your hand, left elbow in. Feel, don't forget to breathe. Inhale into your heart, exhale, go a little deeper. Mm. Pull belly in, pull your feet towards each other. Inhale, come on up, we're gonna enter, butt back, arm scarecrow style, hands, crab hands. We're moving into triangle, but really mindfully, like we can feel every adjustment. Left hand can be on block, in front of, or behind, whatever works for you. Right, go slow here. We're not straightening our legs yet. Right rib cage over left. Inhale, so you feel your chest moving to the front of the mat. Your throat is open. Exhale, straighten as your legs and move the arms away from each other. Breathing. <sighs> really feel where your body is asking for space. Take air from your pelvic floor all the way up to the throat. When you exhale, just open up a little bit more. Look down, bend that front knee. Right hand comes on to the right hip. Inhale, open up your chest, extended side stretch. You can stay here with your right hand on your right hip or Bring your right arm bone up and overhead, fingers wide. Feel the back foot, feel the toes. Ah. And then circling your right hand, so you're seeing it, 
circling, coming onto the inside of your left foot, lift the back heel. Walk your feet away from each other so that, or hip width apart. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, dive in over the left leg. Hmm. Inhale, walk into your left knee, your left foot, or the left knee is bent, and then drop your right knee, shoelace side of the right foot. Oh. Inhale, chest coming forward. Exhale, monkey. Just for a moment. Walk in to that left foot again. Come on up. Interlock your fingers to the webbing. Oh, I heard a good crack. And then with the back foot, relax. This is more intense on this side. We're trying to create enough space to get to our pinnacle pose today. Inhale, open up our chest. Exhale, lean back. Yeah. And then come forward. Tuck the back toes. Straighten the back leg, but keep your pelvis down and long. Curl your back a lot. Press through the palms of your hands. Move your left foot into down dog. Breathing. And then curl your back and then come down onto your knees and have a little moment. Release your shoelace side of your feet. Bring the palms of your hands together. Swish your body. Do whatever you'd like in order to give a signal. A signal uh, like a reward, like you're releasing. Whatever signal you need to give your body at this point. We have a few more poses that we're going standing poses and then we'll have some seated poses so you're going to really enjoy those. Press through the palms of your hands. <clears throat> so stretching back but the hands and the arms are coming forward now. So we've changed our child's pose. You're going to come forward, you're going to tuck toes, fingers really wide, cup your hands, cup the inside and then press back into down dog. And then we're gonna walk all the way forward. You're gonna grab your toes, feet are hip width apart. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward bending, ha. Ah, breathing. And then lean back into your heels. Spread your toes, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, drop your toes, drop your hands. Inhale, arms coming up. Look up. Exhale, forward bending. Bring your hands forward like halfway lift. And in this case, you can use your blocks. That's great. You could have the palms of your hands or your fingertips. So we're going to walk our feet a little bit closer towards each other. We're going to go into full splits. Or we're going to try. We're going to press through the left foot. Curl your back a lot. Pull your forearms towards each other. Inhale, right leg goes up as high as it can. And in this case, you can open your right hip to the right side <clears throat> of your mat. Now, you're going to rotate the right hip down. You're going to start bending that right knee, curl your back a lot, and you're going to pretend that you're going to bring your right knee to the outside of your left foot on the floor. So everything is bent. And then, but you're not going to come down on the floor in a twist. You're instead going to go inhale all the way up into standing splits. Woo! Exhale, pull belly in. Curl your back a lot. Bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Try to come as low as you can with the right knee on the outside of that left foot. You're looking at it. Inhale. Come on up, standing splits. I hope you're smiling at your body's attempt to do this. You're doing a great job. Tuck the left tail underneath. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Come all the way down this time. So the right shin bone, the right leg is on the floor. And now you're going to come right. Your buttocks are going to come on the floor. You're going to come right into a twist. Make sure you're not sitting on your foot, your right foot. And now you are so happy to do this twist. It's just really quite amazing. So much joy. Inhale, squish. 
your leg towards your chest. Exhale, go deeper. You can take your left hand behind if you'd like. Woo! Activate your toes. Ah, should feel great. Hands coming forward if you're on your blocks. We're going to lean forward into that left foot and we're going to go right again into full standing splits. I know you're happy. Right leg goes right up. This time bring your chest as close to the left leg as possible. Now curl your back, curl the tail, bring right foot to hover beside left. Drop it, raggedy doll. Woo. Flip the palms of your hands. Feel the heat. Be thankful you don't have three sides. You only have two. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, curl your back. Bring the right foot into the middle. Mm -hmm. You can be, remember, on your blocks or on your fingers. Press through the right foot. Inhale, left leg goes up into standing splits. Try to bring your tummy close to your right thigh. Rotate that left hip, the front of, to the left side of your mat. Just feel where there's movement. Try to inhale into your chest. Exhale, go a little deeper. And then looking forward a little bit, bend your right knee just a little bit. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Pretend you're going to come all the way down towards the mat, the left leg, in, a, in this twist idea, but then you go all the way back up. Tuck the right tail, open up your left hip, full standing splits, your version. It doesn't matter whether it's what version it is, as long as you feel it. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, bring your left Shin towards the outside of your right foot. Oh my goodness. Inhale. Left leg goes all the way up into standing splits. This time I really want you to bring your belly close, close in to your right thigh. Reach up with your left foot. We can't be here forever. Oh. And then bend your right knee. Tuck the right tail under. Bend your left knee. Go slow. This is how we build strength and awareness. Left leg, left foot comes on floor. You're so happy to be in this twist. Move your left foot away. You're in a twist. It's all set up for you. You don't have to think. Just bring your chest so super close to that right thigh. Right hand can come around. Everything that we just did, the whole practice up to this point has been about getting this deep into a twist. Twist, so therapeutic. Inhaling, exhaling. <sighs> I promised that after all that, we would go into seated postures. So let's see how that feels now. So coming forward, we already have our legs in cow pose. <clears throat> with the right knee over, flex your right, your right and your left foot. Now take your hands and anchor those feet into the floor, spreading your toes. Inhale, open up your chest. Now squish your armpits. It's as if your butt is trying to move back and your chest is trying to move forward and they're having a little bit of a, a tussle. So coming forward, feeling everything. I want you to go so slowly that you can almost imagine all the tendons in the right hip. You can feel them. You can feel them moving as you go so slowly into cow head pose. Of course, if you're not able to do exactly that, you would straighten the left leg behind, or in front of you. Lean back for everybody else. Squ switch. So that switch your legs. So left knee comes over right. Spread your toes. Take your hands. Anchor. Anchor your feet. Inhale. Open up your chest. Now I want you to feel the butt going back and getting heavy. Lengthen through your waistline. So you feel that. And your chest coming forward. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
<sighs> Inhaling, exhaling. Hmm. Breathing. Feels so good when you when you notice all the spaces you're creating. Pull your belly in so you can anchor your hips. Then inhale, come on up. Nice. Exhale, release. Lean back. Right foot forward. Left leg out 90 degrees. Now just press down and shake your booty a little bit so that the hips are released. You're going to move over the right leg, so use your fingertips. They can be wide, wider or even than your mat. You won't be interfering with anybody but yourself. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward bending. This is the nice thing about practicing at home is that you don't have to worry about the person beside you, in front of you, to the left or to the right. You can just use all the space you need. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, let's go to the center, come forward. We'll only do this for a little bit. Inhale, come on up, straighten your arms. I hope you're on your fingertips. And then turning towards your left leg, inhale, pull with your hands. Exhale, over your left leg, forward bending. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, turn to your right leg. Bend the left knee. You could grab this ankle. And move this left foot out of the way. So inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, forward bending. Ooh. Inhale, make it all smooth and flowy. Exhale, grab, you're up now. Grab the back ankle. Flex the left foot. Lean over to the right side and just have a full range of motion with your left leg as it comes into your second twist of this practice today. Left foot on the outside of the right leg or in front of. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, squish. Go into your version of your twist. Keep those toes activated. Lean into your left buttock. Open up your chest. Throat nice and open. Just feel all the breath moving. Ah. <sighs> Pardon me, arms are scarecrow style, fingers crab hand, inhale, open up your chest, lengthen to the ceiling, exhale, come forward, hands on the floor, ah. left foot comes forward, right leg goes out, inhale, mm -hmm. exhale, forward bending over the left leg, exactly the same, inhale, come on up, exhale, go into the middle, make this a, a dance, a supple, Flow. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, over the right leg. Nice. Inhale, come on up again. Exhale, lean over to the left. Grab your right ankle, bring it behind. Inhale, open up your chest again towards your left active foot. And exhale, forward bending. You should feel this is pretty good for you today. We're still nice and warm. Inhale, come on up. Grab your right ankle, lean over to the left, flex your right foot. Now challenge yourself with straightening the leg and full range of motion, whatever that means for you, and then land your right foot on the outside of that left leg. Mm-hmm. Second twist for today. Inhale, open up your chest, dig your heels in, feel your toes. Ah, lean into your right hip. Squish, squish your, your low belly. Breathing. Arms coming out, scarecrow style. Fingers, crab hands. Inhale, open up your chest. Lengthen to the ceiling. Exhale, come forward. Nice. Take your blocks. Bring them mid-mat because you're going to use them. Feet are hip width apart. Inhale, arms coming up. Exhale, tuck tail. Pull the belly button in. Feel like all the muscles in your body are trying to get closer to the bones. And now curl down, slower than you want. Pull everything into your core, into the center, right up in where your throat is. It's like everything is being wrapped and hugged. And go slower than you want. I find that if I wiggle my fingers, 
it distracts me. And distraction's good when you're trying something a little hard that, you know, you may not enjoy. But we do enjoy this when we get to the bottom and to the mat. And then we can fling our arms out in scarecrow style, backs of hands on the mat. Bring your feet close into your pelvis and allow your knees to tent or soles of feet together, knees out. So you do the thing that works for you, that you know your body needs. And now after all that effort, we're just going to take a moment to let you can close your eyes here. And you may have to readjust and inchworm your body a little bit further away from your pelvis, but just want you to feel that release from the effort that we did today. Nice. You have your blocks nearby, so grab one. Bring your feet close into your buttocks, your pelvis, then lift your hips. Place your block, whatever height works for you. We're going to do this supported bridge with our arm bones up and overhead, fingers to the back of your room, palms open to the ceiling. Oh, so we have all this beautiful space to breathe. It's like we're letting the whole front body have its time. This is a beautiful way of releasing tension, good or bad, <laughs> information, whatever it is. You can close your eyes and feel your breath moving from your pelvic floor all the way to your armpits and to your throat. Exhale, release. Ah, so nice. Inhaling, exhaling. Pull your feet towards the block. Activate the, the buttocks towards the backs of your knees so you know that your body is going to be supported. As you lift your hips a little higher, bring your elbows alongside your body. Spread your fingers. The arms are 90 degrees. Inhale, lift your hips a lot. Remove the block. Now bring your elbows back out, shoulder height. Arms can be 90 degrees. Fingers to the ceiling. Now keep tucking that tail as you bring upper back. Go slow. Middle back. Low back. To the floor. Ah. Tilt the pelvis so you have both a lumbar curve and a cervical curve. And then just allow your arms to relax and your legs to relax, whatever that means, tenting or soles of feet, knees wide. Take a moment here. This is the part of the practice where you're going to gather your comfy things and your favorite music or continue with this video or one of our Shavasana videos. And I hope that you have the longest, nicest Shavasana ever today. It means the world to me truly that you're coming to the mat and you're joining me. Thank you so much. Namaste.